Hey guys, happy Saturday, happy February 1st. I am back with my third video in the series. This is just my monthly skincare routine. Uh, I just choose the first of the month to kind of remind myself to change up my routine a little bit. I don't use all these products every day by no means. I um, have a few things that I am needing to use up. I've had them for a while. And so some of these are doubles. I even have one sitting there in the middle, the L'Oreal Revitalift Bright Reveal Pads. I already have a backup, as you can see, sitting underneath it. And then just a couple of new things that I'm trying out. Um, I decided since it was February and this is, you know, the last full month of winter and it's a long February, we've got 29 days this time that I just wanted to put in all the hydration that I am going to get on my face and get on the rest of my body and really try to combat this cold Midwestern, Midwestern, <laughs> there's the accent, this cold Midwestern winter in the Kansas City area where I live. It is beautiful and bright and sunny today. It is so refreshing. I've got all the blinds open and just soaking it all in. I have to go to a kind of big mega church today in a big um, kind of gymnasium with no windows because my little guy Logan that you see in my videos from time to time, he has a Pinewood Derby for his little Cub Scouts group. So I'm hoping that when I leave <laughs> that uh, auditorium today that the sun is still shining. But anyway, so let's get started on what I have here. Um, I am going to most definitely finish this micellar cleansing water this month. Um, I don't use these anymore. I don't purchase them. They're very stripping. Um, I found much better ways of getting my makeup off, but um, this is a very affordable option. But all the cleansing oils and cleansing balms that are out now, and I'll show you, um, uh, I've got a video, a CVS haul, where I found a Pond's cleansing balm, and I forgot to actually throw it on here, but uh, it's much gentler than taking this off with a cotton ball. But I am going to finish it because I purchased it, and um, yeah, so <laughs> there's that. And then I showed you my Clarisonic Mia 2 in my last video for January, and I use this um, every day. I don't always use it twice a day. Sometimes in the morning, because I have dry skin, I don't like to actually use a face wash. I'll sometimes use a little bit of cleansing balm and just use my fingers because I don't want to lose that oil that I kind of made overnight, if you will. And then um, back to this Affordable Skin Plus Pharmacy Anti-Aging Therapy Hydrating Cleanser with Hydropore Plus Technology Hyaluronic Hyaluronic acid, olive oil, and vitamins A, C, and E. I um, purchased this at CVS. I believe it was under $10, and it is very gentle on my dry skin, and I've enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. There's so many products I want to try, but that's about half gone, so I am going for it. And another one that I'm going to kind of do every other day is this Mamond. <laughs> Petal Spa Oil to Foam Rosé that I got um, as a sample. And uh, I tried it this morning and I liked it. It was good enough. I don't know. Jury's still out um, if I'm still going to like it after three or four tries, but I always try to finish up those trial sizes unless they are extremely irritating on my skin and then they just go away. <laughs> so I, I sometimes see if a coworker wants them or pass along to my mom, that kind of thing. And I'll be finishing up this rose water toner by the same brand that I absolutely love. As you can see, I purchased it in the full size uh, recently at Ulta. So it is <laughs> the best way to describe this toner is luxurious. It, it is the thickest toner I've ever used. It is super hydrating. It feels thicker when you put it on. I don't love the rose scent. I wish that it was like a cooler scent like cucumber if there has to be a scent at all. But I really like what it's doing for my skin and that is why I went ahead and purchased the full size. And then you'll see I have these L'Oreal Revitalift Bright Reveal Brightening Pads. Um, this I have used, these ones I have used before. I don't use them every day. But you can see it's a good sized 
pad. It's um, got a little more texture on one side and just kind of a very gentle mm, chemical peel. And then I've got the backup there. Purchased those at CVS as well. I do go back and forth between those and the Dr. Dennis Gross daily peels. This is to remind me to go to Sephora and repurchase, so that'll be in an upcoming haul. But I can't afford the <laughs> very expensive Dr. Dennis Gross all the time, and I'm happy with what these L'Oreal ones do. If I won some kind of Dr. Dennis Gross contest, <laughs> I would exclusively use them. But again, they are quite pricey. And then the other item that I've recently fell in love with is this Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel Exfoliant. And I already purchased um, this in the full size along with the backup because it was an Ulta Skin, Love Your Skin event in January. So I will show you that video here shortly. And then in my Derma Store, um, Derm Store, box, uh, the Beauty Fix box, my very first one, they had these Gummies with Benefits Glow Sweet Glow Skin Hydration for the Ultimate Glow, Hyaluronic Acid, Vitamin C and E Dietary Supplement. They are vegan. I eat primarily vegan, and so I was happy to see a gummy that was vegan. I'm taking two a day, um, most days. I don't take it every day. I do um, quite a bit of intermittent fasting. So there are days where I don't eat, <laughs> judge as you will. I have um, fibromyalgia and Hashimoto's disease and I find intermittent fasting helps a lot with my inflammation and pain levels. So I exclusively just kind of do coffee, tea and water on those days. Um, and I don't, I don't see a big difference in them so far, but I really did just get them. So, and they taste good and they were part of my box. So, <laughs> Jury's still out if I would repurchase. I've done the different gummies over the counter at CVS and my grocery store over the years. I don't see much difference. A lot of them have a lot of biotin in them. These are the first ones that I have tried with the hyaluronic acid. Um, but, you know, I, I have a lot of other items that I am using to kind of combat the dryness, but those are nice. And then with redness, uh, this time of year especially, kind of walking in the cold wind in the evenings. This uh, Cicapair Dermagreen Solution Cream from Dr. Jart. Um, I've had this a while and I only use a little pea size amount. Um, mostly on my chin area is what tends to get red. Really enjoy that. I haven't found really an appropriate dupe for it because that is kind of a higher end brand. But I I, I think I've had it over a year and you can see there's still a lot in here. I've kind of rolled it down a little bit, but I highly recommend this for those of you that uh, deal with redness. And then um, this is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10%, Zinc 1%. This is about $7. Um, just started using it a couple nights ago and not seeing any issues with like irritation looking forward to seeing what it does for me and the Paula's Choice Nice and My 10% is on my list. Um, so I'll be maybe going back and forth between the two once I get the Paula's Choice version of it. I have a smaller size of the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. I think I got this in a Lure Beauty Box. I used to subscribe to that and then um, quit a few months ago and I'm putting this on in the morning and then kind of packing my lunch and you know picking out my outfit for work and all that I'll have this on my skin and about 20 minutes later I'll apply my makeup it's doing wonders for my dry skin and then on the eyes still going through this Biosense squalene and peptide eye gel I will definitely repurchase this and it's lasting a long time as well you only need you know just one pump on your ring finger there and uh, put a tiny bit on your eyelids and then be a little more generous under the eyes. And then a new product that I actually purchased at Walmart is this organic rose hip seed oil. It's by Sky Organics. I've been putting this on my decollete, a little bit on the back of my hands and uh, whatever's left I'll kind of pat into my neck and kind of my chin area that gets super dry. Um, 
it's really affordable. It's about $7.50 for one fluid ounce. So I'm enjoying that so far, helping with the hydration. And then the last actual beauty product that I'm using every night is this Olay Regenerous Retinol 24 Night Moisturizer. And I got this at CVS as well. And I wish it came in a pump, but I'm liking it. I haven't, um, I've only used about a third of the jar, but I'm liking it. I've had no irritation whatsoever. This isn't my first rodeo with kind of the over-the-counter retinol. I had been using the Neutrogena before and so maybe that prepped my skin just enough but I'm liking it and um, being really diligent with that and then I just wanted to show you oops just wanted to show you a couple of the items that I'm using on the body this is two years old and it needs to go bye bye this month this is the coconut mint drop cream creamy body scrub with shea butter from Bath and Body Works I love this scent if I want to repurchase it, I'm going to have to get it on Amazon because it did not come out this year. I searched, searched and searched for it. <laughs> Every time I went to Bath and Body Works, I got on their website, you know, just waiting for kids at practices and things like that. I'd, I'd check it every few days and it never did come out. It only came out in the foamy hand soap, which I did get my hands on, but that is a lovely scent. But I think I've had it almost two years, so it is time to use that up and I use it in the shower. And then um, this is a Trader Joe's Lemongrass Coconut Body Oil. This is wonderful. It's about two thirds of the way gone. For the price point of $5, it's perfect to put on my legs after shaving, climb in bed, let it soak in. That kind of routine is really beneficial in these cold January and February months um, if you're in the Midwest like I am. And then this is just what's in my purse right now. This is a Bath & Body Works uh, Pretty as a Peach. And you've heard me say before, I'm not a big fan of all the alcohol and drying, just kind of drying ingredients that Bath & Body Works has. This was a gift and it's easy to just keep in my, perch, my purse, plus it gives you kind of that perfumey scent as you're, you know, walking into the office after lunch or something like that. So I'll use it, but it 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 does just enough hydration to last me until the next hand washing and then applying something a little bit stronger. <laughs> but you just have those moments where you realize you're out somewhere at a restaurant and you're like, oh my God, my hands are cracking. They're so dry. So uh, it definitely helps with that. So I will um, be putting that back in my purse and using it. And then finally, perhaps the most important product here is my SPF and it is SPF 50 um, Kula Sport. And I really like this. I think I got this as a sample with a larger one, a different version of the Kula um, sunscreen. Let me see what the expiration is on this. It looks like it's four of 2021, so that is fantastic. I tend to use this mostly on my face. It doesn't clog my pores, uh, doesn't, doesn't leave like a greasy feeling or a white cast. And I'll definitely repurchase that Kula brand. And I really like having the SPF 50, especially when we're out with the kids. Uh, I will put it on in the mornings before my makeup, and it, it does great under makeup. So I highly recommend that one if you haven't tried the Kula brand for your SPF. But that is the sum of all parts. That is what I am going to be using on my face, on my body. Um, and I guess with the hum nutrition, I'll be using inside my body a little bit off and on here in the month of February. So if you have any recommendations uh, for dealing with dry skin and you feel my pain of living in the Midwest with our cold and <laughs> windy Februaries, please leave it in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions. But this is what I am going to go through in February. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. My Kansas City Chiefs football team is in the Super Bowl tomorrow night. So our city is on fire with excitement. We haven't been in the Super Bowl in 50 years. So win or lose, I am very happy. So it's going to be a great weekend. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend as well. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.